Hi everybody in YouTube land. I'm Carl Storm Curtis. What I have in my hand right now is the old Samsung Galaxy S5. Will the Samsung Galaxy S5 beat the ZTE Pro in the benchmark test? Stay tuned y'all. How y'all guys doing out there in YouTube land? This is Carl Storm Curtis. Right now I'm going to keep this video real brief. I'm doing a benchmark test. Over here to my left is the Galaxy S5, one of the oldest model, a flagship phone. Over to my left, I mean over to my right, you got the um, ZTE Z Max Pro, a low budget phone for the uh, ZTE. Now I'm going to turn around both of these phones in the back for y'all guys, so y'all guys know that I'm working what I'm working with. In the back over here, you got the uh, you got the ZTE. Pro, which is on the right, uh, the camera in the rear is a 13 megapixel camera, single flash, fingerprint scanner. Over here to my left is the Galaxy S5. The camera, the rear, the rear back camera is a 16 megapixel, a single flash, and a post sensor. Just put your index finger right here; it can able to reach your post. Now both of these phones got rear speakers. I'm gonna turn the phone around the front to show y'all guys the uh, front facing cameras which the front facing camera for the uh, for the ZTE phone on the right is a 5 a 5 uh, front facing camera megapixel and over here to my left the Galaxy X5 front facing camera is a 2.2 Make a pixel front face the camera. <clears throat> now, both of these phones you're seeing right now have different processors. On the phone to my left, the Galaxy S5 processor is a Snapdragon, it's a quad. Quad Snapdragon 805, while the phone on my right, the ZTE, is a quad Snapdragon processor 617. Both of these phones here are Gorilla Glass 3. Both of these phones here are running the um, latest uh, Marshmallow, which I'm going to show you guys right now. Go to about. In about and I'm gonna bring the thing down both of you guys so you guys know that both of these phones right here you see are running the latest um, Android which is Marshmallow 6.0.1 both of these phones are running um, 6.0.1 Now I'm going straight to the Ambitionmark test. As you see right now, both of these phones have finished almost equally at the Bismarck test, which you got the uh, ZTE Pro finished at 45,600 at 54 falling behind it's the um, Galaxy S5 at 45,223 but all that's irrelevant right now because right now I'm doing a I'm doing a benchmark test for you guys right now so let's get let's get it started
Right now, the phone to my right, the Z, the Z Man Pro finished at fifty percent. While the uh, phone to left, the Z, uh, the Galaxy S Five finished at fifty percent. And of course, you know, the uh, the ZTE uh, is a bigger phone than the uh, Galaxy, um, Galaxy S5, which is the um, ZTE on screen. It's a 6-inch, while the uh, Galaxy S5 um, screen is a 5.1-inch. Eighty percent for the ZTE Z Man Pro and seventy five percent for the um, Galaxy S five. And there you have it right here. The uh, ZTE finished at 35,268 on the benchmark test. Which over here to my left, you got the um, Gods S5 finished at 56,889. Now you know that the that the um, Gods S5 have blown the ZTE out the water. It's no comparison. It's not even close. The uh, Galaxy S5 is 56,889. Follow, following behind the rear is the uh, ZTE Z Man Pro at 35,268. It just the Galaxy S5 had blown it out the water on the 3D, on the UX, the CPU, the RAMs. It's not, I'm beyond with you, it's not even close to the, um, the Galaxy S5. For an old flagship phone, from the Galaxy S5, it's still kick-ass. It's still able to um, beat um, last year's um, low-budget phone, which is the uh, ZTE Z-Man Pro. <clears throat> this is um, Cryostorm Curtis here. This is Cryostorm Curtis. And if you like, if you like what you're seeing, guys, 
just donate. If you'd like me to continue to keep your guys informed on the latest Android smartphone, um, which is the um, Galaxy S5 and the ZTE, donate. Donate to my channel. And for those of you guys that actually donate to my GoFundMe on PayPal, thank you very much. Every little bit helps. And keep the thumbs up, guys. Keep the thumbs up because it inspires me more to make more video and keep my fans well informed and entertained. Because I like to um, entertain my fans and also keep them well informed of the latest and, um, Android devices. Just keep the thumbs up, guys. I appreciate it very much because I'm a YouTube video content creator. And seeing the thumbs up of my video inspire me more to continue to make videos for y'all guys. And entertaining y'all and keep y'all guys well informed. And also, leave your commentaries um, underneath the video. Because I do read your guys' commentary. And I reply to each and every last one of y'all guys' commentary. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you guys for being my uh, my loyal fans. Thank you for subscribing to my channel. Thank thank y'all guys. Thank y'all for the new subscribers. The new subscribers that came to my channel that joined me. Thank you. I appreciate my fans. I appreciate my new my new subscribers and I appreciate you guys dumbing up my video. I appreciate you guys. Thank you. Alright, this is Cryostorm Curtis until we meet again. Guys, later.